We at the Bone Marrow Donor Program have a vision to provide hope for patients with leukemia, lymphoma, and other blood-related diseases. We've been building Singapore's register of volunteer marrow donors since 1993. Through the World Marrow Donor Association, we work with our global counterparts to find donor matches so as to provide patients a second chance from potentially life-threatening blood diseases. In Singapore, about six people are diagnosed with a blood disease every day. For some, a bone marrow transplant is their last chance at survival. But what is bone marrow anyway? Bone marrow is the spongy good stuff found in the center of long bones. It works much like a factory. It is where blood stem cells are created, which matures into red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. These important building blocks of life all play critical roles that keep you active, healthy, and well alive. But what happens when a person's blood producing factory fails? Is it the end? Not necessarily. After a massive cleanup of the malfunctioning factory, a critical jumpstart is required through the introduction of good healthy blood stem cells from a matching donor. That's the good news. The challenge is in finding this donor. Our bodies are picky and usually does not take too kindly to unfamiliar cells. All cells contain certain identifying markers called human leukocyte antigens, HLA in short, that are unique to each person's body. The body's immune system is always on the lookout to reject cells with unfamiliar markers. Siblings have the highest probability of sharing similar HLA markers and are one of the first groups tested when a patient needs a transplant. However, if a suitable match from within the immediate family cannot be found, a public register becomes an important source. That is where the Bone Marrow Donor Program comes in. We are contacted by the hospital or a partner registry, and our search for a donor with as close a HLA match to the patient begins. However, because HLA is unique and inherited, the odds of finding a perfect matching donor could be one to thousands, or hundreds of thousands, or hundreds of hundreds of thousands. A look at our local register, which has more than 100,000 registered donors, show that the probability of finding a perfect match is even lower among certain demographics, which is why it is that much more important that more of us step forward to give everyone a second chance. So how does it all start? It is as easy as filling out an online form and providing a DNA sample through a self-administered cheek swab. Your swab is processed and you are now a potential donor till the age of 60. If a match is found, we will give you a ring and run a whole bunch of tests before it is your time to change someone's life forever. There are two methods of donation and it is not what you see in the movies. The first and most commonly used method is the peripheral blood stem cell collection. Prior to and on the day of donation, the donor is given daily GCSF injections to create more blood stem cells. On the day of donation, blood is drawn from a vein and circulated through a machine that extracts the blood stem cells. Potential short-term side effects are generally mild and can include headaches, bone, and muscle aches. They generally go away in a few days, and some donors are able to resume sport activities the next day. The second method involves extracting the marrow directly from the pelvic bone under general anesthetic. After the procedure, donors will generally stay the night to recover before going home the next day. Potential short-term side effects include stiffness, soreness, and general fatigue. They are generally mild, and donors should be up and running in a few days. Less than 5% of donors' bone marrow will be taken, and it is expected to naturally regenerate within four to six weeks. It is that simple to save a life. Come help us find a donor for every patient. You can be their hope for survival. Drop by the Bone Marrow Donor Program's website or call our hotline to find out more.